Hey guys, so I thought I'd do, I didn't want to do a haul because I didn't buy much stuff and I wanted to show you the two things that I brought, so here we go. So these are the two items that I brought in Zara as the title would suggest. I went there the other day because I went to Milton Keynes specifically to pick up these two items but also to get some Father's Day presents. Anyway, I went to Zara, I picked up a bag and a wallet because I wanted a small-ish bag for Barcelona because I just bought a suit, new suitcase for it like that fits the regulations because the one I had before broke you don't need to know this but yeah so I brought a smallish bag and I didn't in I looked on the website I was going to buy on the website I had a few things in my cart and pay get the free shipping which is over 50 pounds if you buy on Zara but I went into the Milton Keynes store because you can check the availability online which I love about stores that do that, love it, but I saw the only store around me that had the bag, the original bag that I was going to get was the Zara in Milton Keynes. So I went to Milton Keynes, could not find it anywhere, picked up this, this was 25 quid, no 25.99 sorry, I get that 99p. But the bag I originally looked at was 19.99 because I couldn't, I didn't want to spend six pound more. So I picked up this one, and when I paid for it, was going to walk down the stairs. If you know Milton Keynes and Zara, the men's wear is upstairs. You walk down the stairs. There's these glass things on the wall. The bags were in there. Like what? And you can't get in them. So I don't know how you would have got in there. Probably have had to ask the sales associates, and the sales associates were being really annoying, like they always are in Zara. So anyway, I came out with this bag, Not I mean, this wasn't what I was intentionally going to buy but I feel like it's a bit better because it's probably a tiny bit bigger and it's a bit more security wise because you have to open this pocket and then you have a zip compartment, just throw it all everywhere, then you have a zip compartment up here as well that you would have to get into if you were planning to rob something from me. Whereas the other two I looked at didn't, well the other one, the one I was originally going to buy, only had a zip compartment here and then a zip here. Whereas this just has one big old hole. And yeah, and then it's also got, you are not going to be able to see this, so I don't know why I'm even showing you, a compartment inside as well. And then a long strap. Feels quite well made, it's no, not leather at all. And the strap feels quite nice as well. And it is fairly roomy. I wanted this for Barcelona because I wanted to take my stuff around in an actual bag rather than having stuff in my pockets because I will ne inevitably want a water bottle because it's going to be hot. And I want to take my sunglasses or my glasses because I need. Well, they wouldn't fit my pockets. Camera, which my new little point and shoot, wallet and phone. And possibly a raincoat, I have not checked that. But what you can get in here is quite a lot. You can fit a water bottle in easy. The um, Smart Water 600ml ones fit fine. And then sunglasses case, wallet and phone squeeze into the compartment pocket inside. And then camera. And it's not bulging out, but it's pretty full. So that is kind of everything I wanted to take with me around during the day in Barcelona done it in this bag and I didn't want to take a big bag because it would take up room in my suitcase and this can just fit fairly easily squished down a little bit on the top of my like on the top of my suitcase so yeah I also wanted a new wallet because I've been wanting a new wallet for a while because I did because my I had an next one before a bit tatty and the Quicksilver one is I'm using, well I'm not using it currently because I'm using this one now, was it's a bit childish in my opinion. So I picked up this one. This was $17.99 from Zara. It's a bit different to what I normally have. I like coin compartments. I know wallets seem to have coin compartments, which is really annoying. It's kind of, I haven't had a darkish blue colour wallet. It's not leather wallet like this before. And yeah, I quite enjoy it. One downside is there's not many compartments for cards. I like compartments for cards. I don't think there's anything on here that will be bad. But 
it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two slots in there for cards. It hasn't got a clear bit for your ID, and I always take my ID any out anyway, so I'm like that. And the compartment holes for these are not my favourite. They're just the slit ones, and I had to break some of them open a bit more to get it in. So some of the other stuff's not very well made, and you they just about fit in. The one over here is a bit awkward because, as you can see, there's a slant here, and it says Zara Man there. So yeah, I wish there was a few more compartment like things. You also have a big one up the top which you can fit um, British notes in and stuff. And then the one thing about the pop out is it doesn't if you've got all the cards in. It's not easy to shut, and you can see there's a little bit of pull off here, which I don't enjoy. But the thing I do enjoy is that there's a massive coin compartment, but the thing is, coins do come down, they go out like that, because when you hold it around and stuff, they just fly everywhere, because it is such a big coin compartment. I would put notes in there as well, so I may do that in the future but I do love the bigness of the coin compartment, so it's more of a coin purse. Over a wallet, it's like an added wallet, so... And with these slots, it's quite difficult to get the stuff out. Like, if you want to get the stuff out of here, you have to bend that back to get that out, so that is a bit annoying. But yeah, I've only used it for one day properly, so I can't pass judgement too much, but... I am fairly enjoying it, it does like, it's a lot thicker than wallets I've had in the past, you can definitely get a lot of thinner wallets, but you can get bigger wallets as well, so I do enjoy that, especially for the coin section, and the zip is really nice quality, and it's silver, and I like silver. Anyway, that is it for this really weird-ish short review, review slash haul slash what I bought in Zara which is only two things, but I didn't want to do a haul on it. You get me? So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you had a really nice day. And yeah, if you want to subscribe, please do. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.